Hello everyone, Plant Assassin here. Today we're looking at a bush morning glory. Uh, here's the root after one year of growth. I had it in this pot. So it kind of uh, twisted the root a bit. So this uh, plant is native to the Midwest and the Rocky Mountains. It has these large purple flowers. The reason I haven't done a video on it sooner is because that none of my plants flowered. However, I got an amazing germination rate out of the seeds. And out of 10 seeds, I got 10 plants. So which doesn't happen often, so I had a lot more than I knew what to do with. Now, you may be wondering why I'm growing a bush morning glory, but the answer is, if you know anything about sweet potatoes, you'll know that the scientific name is uh, Epomea, which is the same family that this is in. So this is somewhat of a perennial sweet potato. Now depending on which records you read, this is either one of the best tasting of uh, wild or Indian foods or quite possibly the worst. So, you know, we'll be in for a treat or a very disgusting meal depending on how uh, how it actually does taste. So you're supposed to let them get two or three years old before you harvest the uh, root. As you can see, will uh, often go down very deep, up to two meters, because of its drought tolerance. But these plants are very resentful of having their roots disturbed. It's, uh, it's okay now that this one's dormant, but it'll, uh, it'll not like the fact that it had its roots disturbed, so it'll probably sprout a little bit later in the year uh, than the other ones I have in the pots. So, But I was just curious to see what it looked like. Obviously, you probably couldn't really eat it. Like I mean, I guess you could, but... There's just not there. It's pretty much not much there. It's like a pencil. So. Anyway, Bush Morning Glory. Hopefully I'll have some better videos next year with the actual flowers because it is a beautiful plant. Plant Assassin. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe.